been a quick minute since I've been on this channel, but I just wanna update you. I am six months pregnant with a baby boy. We're very excited. Um, I've been doing all of my vlogs um, over on my vlog channel, so if you haven't caught up with me over there, definitely check it out. Um, but today's video is going to be me showing you guys how I make my necklaces that I've been posting on my Etsy store. I find doing art very therapeutic and with all the stress going on lately, I thought it would be fun to make some necklaces. So I made some of these necklaces and I actually posted about it on Instagram and a lot of you guys were like, oh my gosh, can you please show us how you make those? So that's what this whole video is gonna be. I'm gonna show you exactly how I make them. I'm gonna list all the supplies I use down in the description box below. Something really cool about these necklaces is one, they're handmade by you, so I think they're really special. These are also like real pressed flowers that are inside of here. Uh, with like gold flakes so i think they make really special gifts for people especially during the holiday time i think this is such a great time to be making stuff like this uh also there were quite a few of you guys that wanted to buy them um the ones that i made and so i listed some of my etsy store and they sold out super quick so i decided to restock them so there's more in my etsy shop now but it's a very limited supply um, because I make them by hand myself uh, and I can only make so many uh, but I'll link all that down in the description box below um, I do just want to put a little disclaimer this resin that I use um, I would highly recommend to wear like a ventilator mask or you know gloves just to protect yourself <laughs> I think that's it really so if you want to see how I make these necklaces keep watching I'm sure there's a ton of different ways to make these type of necklaces but this is just the way that I do it and I got this special tape that I got on Amazon and I also got the bezels, the resin, everything you see I got on Amazon. So I'll link all that down below. But you basically just put this little bezel onto that tape and it helps to create like a suction almost, uh, like a base. And then you put the resin down and I found there's three ways to try to get the bubbles out. <laughs> with a toothpick, with a lighter, or to make the resin warm before you start using it. And then I put it in, I do like a thin layer, and then I put it in and I cure it under the light for 60 seconds. Then I take it out and then I arrange my flowers and whatever I plan on putting inside of the necklace during this time. So right now there's just a thin layer of resin and then we're basically putting everything, like all the flowers in the middle. And then when we're done with that, we're gonna put resin right on top of that to seal it all in and then I like to cure that for two minutes under the little UV light. You'll probably recognize if you go to a nail salon if you've ever gotten gel nails it's like the same light um, and I'm using a UV resin so that's why it's easy and very fast to cure. Normally if you use epoxy resin that you have to mix it takes a lot longer to cure or harden and this stuff literally takes minutes. So I really like that because it's fast and I don't have patience to wait around that long. I'm also adding in some gold flakes. I bought them in different colors, copper, silver, and gold, and I feel like it really just makes the jewelry pop. Um, and this is a very delicate thing to be doing. It does take a little bit of time and patience to get everything where you want it. And then you have to be really careful when you put the resin on um, to seal this all in because you could have done all that work that took a lot of time and then it can move so you kind of have to practice a little bit and then you start to realize what works and what doesn't move around like the way that you place the resin in so um, yeah just you know play around mess around it, it I'm telling you this is so addicting like I was only planning on making a couple and it was so much fun for me that I just kept making more and more and more so um, yeah you just seal the rest I filled up the rest of the bezel with the resin and then I cure that for two minutes. A little tip I have before you put it under the light once you're done is to take a toothpick and push down the flowers and any of the objects that you put inside because sometimes they will float up to the top after you put that top layer of resin on. And then I would also recommend um, either using the toothpick to try to get those surface bubbles out or the lighter. Um, mine get bubbles in them, but I mean, it's handmade. It's not gonna be perfect, but they do look good if you can try to get the bubbles out, um, at least on the surface area, because it makes it look a little bit nicer. Then again, I just cure that for two minutes. And then once it comes out, it can be a little hot, so let it cool down for a little bit. And then I go ahead and I just peel the tape off and then 
uh, I just have like the chains and the jump rings that I add on and that's it you're done it's super addicting I was only planning on making like a couple of them and I ended up making so many just because they were so much fun for me to make and it really helps me to get my mind off of stressful things there's a lot going on in the world right now and so for me this is like my therapy and I really really enjoy doing it and I put a lot of love into making these and I just think they're really special so I wanted to share it with you in case you guys want to make them too. Okay you guys, these are all of the necklaces that I made once they sold out so fast. Uh, I really wanted to be able to make ones for the people that really wanted one that didn't get one so i'm hoping with this restock if you wanted one you're able to get one here is what some of them look like um again i'll leave the link down below all the supplies you need i got everything on amazon so it's super easy and then also a link for any of those of you guys that wanted to buy one of these ones and you don't feel like making your own I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If any of you guys end up making these necklaces, I would love to see your creations. Please uh, tag me on Instagram and send me pictures of your necklaces because I think that'd be so cool. You can also make these into earrings or keychains or um, ornaments for your tree. The options are endless. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you again so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.